Right, okay, so as I say, you'll need some equipment today and we're going to mix and match. So you can either use some weights, you can use your resistance band, or you can use your, your tin cans or bottles of water to do some, to do some weights. It is entirely up to you, whatever you've got to hand. Um, and also, you can either today, you can either do the exercises stood up or sat down. So you'll see me in various positions demonstrating different, different techniques and different things to think about. I'm going to leave it up to you whether you want to do the exercises stood up or sat down or whether you want to mix and match depending on, on the particular exercise, depending on how you're feeling. They are mostly upper body exercises. Have your chair nearby, just in case you do want to take a breather or if you want to hold on to it or, or whatever, or put your weights down just so you have a bit of a breather, that is absolutely fine. Um, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to demonstrate the warm-up mostly stood up, so join in for, the, for a stood up warm-up, warm up, or if you want to sit down and do the warm-up, that's absolutely fine also. Right, so without further ado, let's crack on. Let me move this stuff out of the way. Right, so posture. If you are stood up, feet shoulder width apart, you've got a tiny, tiny little bend in the knees. We're not locking our knees out. We want our hips over our heels. We don't want to be leaning forwards or leaning back. If you sat down, move the fleshy bit out of the way. Try and perch on your sit bones, feet flat on the floor. And regardless now of whether you are sat down or whether you are stood up, remember thinking about that tailbone and then try and grow, try and grow your spine so you're nice and tall. I always say about um, trying to create space in between each part of your back bones, your vertebra, so you're lengthening, you're feeling yourself pulled up towards the ceiling. We're going to lift our shoulders up. Just roll your shoulders back and then just let them rest. So this is the same whether you're sat down or stood up. I'm just going to hold this position. It's nice and tall. And then you can relax. You can slump your shoulders. You can collapse through the midriff. And again, whether you're stood up or sat down, it doesn't really matter. From our tailbone, from our coccyx, we're going to sit or stand grow our spine, feel ourselves being pulled up towards the ceiling. We're not lifting our shoulders up just yet. We want to try and create that space in our vertebra. Now we're going to lift our shoulders up, roll our shoulders back and down. And again, we're just going to hold that position nice and tall, just remembering how that feels, creating that muscle memory. And then we can relax. We can slump again. Right, so you've got that ingrained now in your brain. We're marching. We're either sitting and we're marching on the spot or we're standing and we're marching on the spot. And a nice swing of those arms. We're going about walking pace. Whichever version you're doing, you're landing on your toes and you're rolling towards your heels. We're trying to just maintain that posture, whether you're stood or sat, lengthening that spine. And as I said, and you'll see me moving in various directions. Don't you worry too much. I'm just trying to give you a good angles. Depending on what we're doing. Depending on what we're doing. Okay, so we're going to bend from the elbow. And just be a little bit more purposeful with the arms. So driving those arms just a little bit more, a little bit more vigorously. So feeling that heart rate creeping up and getting nice and warm. And as I said earlier, it's quite cool in the gym because the air conditioning's on. And there's no one in here apart from me. So it's quite cold. If you sat down, it's exactly the same. You've still got that bend in your elbows. You can still be quite energetic with your arms and your shoulders. Okay, here we go. So we're changing it up. We're going to reach out to the front. Reaching out to the front. Still trying to think about your postures. Still trying to land on the toes and going towards the heels. And remember, you can always sit down at any point if you want to then stand back up once you've had a little bit of a, 
a rest if you like, then that's absolutely fine. Please don't think you have to do everything exactly that I'm doing. I want you to go with how you're feeling. You're not in competition with anybody. There's not a room full of us all critiquing, critiquing each other. And if you sat down, it's exactly the same. Okay, back to normal marching. Again, purposeful elbows. Right, let's change the arms so we're stretching up. Climbing our ladders. Warming up those shoulders. That blood is now coursing through our veins. Creating those good mood hormones. Making us breathe a bit heavier, making our heart rate, heart rate creep up. And we're reaching forwards. And we're reaching up. And we're reaching forwards. And back to normal marching. Right then, so a little bit tricky this next one, doing it stood up. What we're going to do is we're going to step forward. We're going to bob our heels down. We're not driving those heels into the ground. And we're trying, if we can, to do alternate arms and legs. If you sat down, it's exactly the same. Still trying to think about those postures, leading with the heels, and trying to do opposite arm and leg. So engaging those brain cells as well. So keeping the legs doing what they're doing, but your arms are going to stretch out. So really reaching forwards with those arm, arms, stretching out those fingertips to the front. And as you're no doubt finding, in an effort to reach, you've got that rotation going through your torso, which is a good thing. Oh, let me get the right side. Oh, there we go. Okay, reaching with the toes now. Reaching with the toes. A little bit harder when you're doing this stood up. Dabbing those toes out. So you're feeling, probably feeling a really good stretch through the foot, through the ankle and through the lower leg. And back to normal marching. <laughs> Oh, good times, eh? Okay, so keeping your feet doing what they're doing, but your hands are coming up, and we're just going to give our hands a shake. Keep those feet moving, floppy wrists, nice and loose, and twisting, and fingers in and out, back to marching. Right, toe tap, side to side, just get your feet going first of all, dabbing those toes out, and when you're good, you can bring your arms into it. Not exactly strictly come dancing, I know, but there's an element of coordination required, whether you're doing this stood up or you're doing this sat down. Reach with those toes, warming up the hip area. Okay, let's stretch up. Let's push away. And reaching up. And push away. Back to curls. Yeah, you're all looking pretty good in the cameras. Can you do funky chickens? Remember, sit down if you need to sit down. Back to curls. Right, okay, so I think we'll do three of each and we'll do it three times through. Right, you ready? Try and stay with me, regardless of whether you're stood up or sat down. Ready? Here we go. So we're going to go up for three, two, three. We're going to push away. One, two, three. Chickens. One, two, three. Curls. One, two, three. And again, up for three, two, three. Push away. One, two, three. Chickens. One, two. Three and curls. One, two, three. Last time through. Up to three. 
two, three, push away, one, two, three, check in, one, two, three, and curl, and march. Right, we all right? I just want you to slow it down, slow it down, and then just your heels, just your heels, just your heels. And relax there. Again, regardless of whether you're stood up or sat down, shoulders up and down. Oh, hang on a minute. And roll your shoulders backwards. Hello, are you all right? I'm just in the middle of a Zoom class, don't mind me. Just roll your shoulders backwards. You can join in if you want. It's Chris, my colleague. All right, so relax there. If you stood up, soft knees. If you sat down, Sitting up nice and tall, one arm on top of the other, and then we're going to twist gently from one side to the other. So just nice and smooth. So remember, with this one, we're trying to get that rotation through the whole of the upper body. Fabulous. And then coming back through to the center. We're going to drop the arms down by the side. We're going to roll our shoulders back. So keeping that spine tall, but we're going to try and lean from one side to the other. You're all right. So sliding your hand down on each side of your leg. And imagine your back is flat against the wall and you're just sliding from one side to the other. Fabulous. Okay, so relax there. If you stood up, you're going to take one foot forward, one foot back. I don't mind which. If you sat down, then you sat down. Hands to the front here, and you're gonna push all the way out, and then all the way back. If you stood up, you've got that one foot forward, one foot back, this is the movement. Pushing all the way out, all the way back. So really stretching forwards, and really stretching through the chest when you come back. Fabulous, okay, so relax there. If you stood up, change legs. If you sat down, you don't need to change legs. Pick up an imaginary ball, you're gonna bring that ball overhead, you can start throwing that ball. So I'm just nice and quick so you get the backs of the arms and the elbows going. A little bit snappy, a little bit of speed. Fabulous. And relax there. Just give your shoulders a bit of a shake. Okay, so if you stood up, you might just want to hold on to something, the back of your chair or the wall or whatever it is. You sat down. Dead easy. A leg, I don't mind which. You're going to swing that foot forwards and backwards. So if you stood up, just rest it against something. Just a little bit of swing. We're not kicking. Just want to get some movement through the knee. And then with the ankle, so we're flexing that foot up and down. And then we're going to go side to side like a windscreen wiper. And a circle in one direction. And a circle in the other direction. And relax there. If you stood up, just give both legs just a bit of a shake before we go into the other leg. So again, holding on to your support, kicking that foot forwards and backwards, just getting that movement. You might feel your thigh muscles and your hip muscles working as well. And now just the ankle, so flexing the foot up and down. And side to side. And a circle in one direction. And circles the other direction. Fabulous. And relax there again. Just give your legs a little bit of a shake if you stood up. Right, last little bit of the warm-up, that is. You sat down. You sat down. Fists. If you stood up, one foot forward in front of the other, one foot back. Not on the tightrope. We're not doing the tightrope one. So you want that space about hips width, so you want some lateral space, mean faces. Right, punches, 10 seconds, you ready? Hmm, you look vaguely ready. As quick as you can, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Steady there. If you stood up, change legs. Fist up, this time, hook punches. So we're coming round the side, so as if you're aiming for the side of someone's head. 
as fast as you can. Ten seconds. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You stood up, change legs again. Fist up. If you sat down, we're going to do uppercuts. So you're coming under this way again. If you're aiming for underneath someone's chin, if you stood up, it's exactly the same. You're ready. Ten seconds. Quick. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. <laughs> okay, relax there. Change legs if you stood up. Last little bit. Straight punches again. Another ten seconds. Just left and right, left and right. Straight punches. As fast as you can. Ten seconds. Here we go. One, two. Come on, quicker. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine and a half, ten. And relax there. Give your arms a little bit of a shake. Everyone all right? Breathing a little bit, hopefully. A couple of deep breaths. Take a seat if you need to take a seat, just to get your breath back. Get your kit, whether it's a resistance band, whether it's weights, whatever it is you've got, have it to hand. So as I say, I'm going to mix and match. I'm going to use weights, and I'm going to use resistance bands. So, you'll see me hopping up and down. So the first exercise we're going to do is for our back, and it's the row. So I'm going to do a seated row, and I'm going to show you a bent over row. The seated row, if you're using your resistance band, so the seated row, so if you sat down, get your band. All right? So remember when you're doing the seated row, your heels are down, you've got a nice straight back, your hands are somewhere near your knees, you're going to pull those hands towards your hips and really squeeze those shoulder blades and then allow your hands to come forward under control. All right, so that's a seated version. You can do your weights. Sat down. Let me just come around here just a minute. So, if you're going to do it sat down with your weights, your arms are down by your side. You're coming forward from the hips. You'll see the weights come near your shins. And you're going to pull up this way. So that is version number two. You're with me so far. I'll recap these in a moment. All right. Version number three, stood up. Your feet are hips width apart. And again, from your hips, you're going to stick your bum back. You keep your back straight so we're not rounding our back this way. Keep our back straight. And we're bringing those hands up towards our hips. And then the final version, yes, there's another one. Let me do it this way. So I don't mind which, one foot forward, one foot back. But you can see I've got a bend in that front knee. And again, I'm going to lean forwards. Again, I'm not rounding my back. I'm trying to keep my back straight. And I'm going to pull up this way. All right? So hopefully you've decided on which version of the row you want to do. Regardless of which one you're doing, Squeeze your shoulder blades together and keep your back straight. So you've got this one. You carry on doing what you're doing. I'm going to recap all four variations. You've got this one. Squeezing those shoulder blades. You've got this version seated. Back straight back. Pulling those hands up and squeezing. And then the last version, with your band, and it's the seated row, keeping your back straight, really squeezing those shoulder blades together. So take your time, whichever version you're doing, because obviously it's taken me a bit of time to go through each of the four variations. So just take your time, rest if you need to rest, and don't forget, you can change your mind part way through and try a different version. If you've got one leg in front of the other on the standing up version, then try changing your stance. So try and put your other leg forward, because that front leg will get 80. Right, so just want you to do two more for me, just in your own time. Once you've done your two, 
come up with a nice straight back and just relax there and just take a moment give your hands a bit of a shake put your tip down give your hands a bit of a squeeze if you need to if you start to feel some tension in your forearms and in your grip okay I'm going to give the back a little bit of a rest we're going on to shoulders next so we're going to do some variations on shoulders again i'll go through i'll go through them you decide which you want to do give it a go if you want to you can always go back to a different version so the seated one with your resistance band you're going to put the band underneath your thighs so you've got equal ends and i recommend starting off easy if you're using the band hold the ends you've got a nice straight back we're going both arms at the same time nice and controlled so this is version number one seated with a resistance band all right, version number two, if you've got your weights, it's exactly the same. You are trying to stretch vertically upwards this way. Version number three, stood up, guess what? It's gonna come as absolutely no surprise. Nice and controlled. If you are doing this stood up, you will need to have additional strength in your tummy, and through the lower back because all this area here needs to be nice and strong to support you as you're doing your shoulder press and just nice and controlled whichever version you're doing whether it's with the band or with whether it's with weights nice and controlled and rest if you need to rest take a breather if you need to take a breather if you're using your resistance band and you want to make it harder by all means shimmy your hands further down your band puts extra resistance through the band, makes those shoulders work even harder. Marvellous, we'll see some excellent movements. Just do two more for me. And relax there. If you're, if you're using your band, take that band from underneath your thighs. And again, just give yourself a little bit of a shake, give your shoulders a bit of a shake. Right, how are we doing? Let me just double check. I've not got anyone in a snotty heap or whimpering in the corner. You all look vaguely okay. Fabulous. Right, so, ooh, we've got a thumbs up. Okay, biceps next. Again, different options depending on how you're feeling. So, if you've got your band, sat down. This is the one where we have our feet flat on the floor. You've got your elbows tucked in, so you've created that 90 degree angle with your elbow. We're sitting up nice and tall, we're bringing both arms up towards our shoulders, and then nice and controlled, bringing them back down. Remember, those elbows stay nice and close to your body. You don't allow your elbows to track forwards. So this is one version. Another version, you can do it stood up if you wanted to. That's another version. If you sat down and you've got your weights, it's exactly the same. Still got that posture, still tucking those elbows in, and you're still bringing your hands up towards your shoulders. If you stood up, nice base, so your feet are hips width apart. You're bringing your hands up towards your shoulders and back down. If you're doing this stood up, again, regardless of whether you're doing it with a band or with your weight, your arms have to travel a greater distance. If you sat down, they're only moving from this point here, so they're only traveling that far. But if you stood up, you've got an extra couple of degrees to go through. So just nice and controlled. And remember, you're not letting the weights drop. You are in control of your weights or your resistance band throughout, that, throughout the whole movement. How are those arms feeling? Remember you can mix and match if you want to go back to a resistance band or if you've got some weights and you want to give it a go, it's absolutely fine. All right, so relax there, just give those arms a bit of a shake. Put your weights to one side, put your resistance bands to one side and just take a seat for me. Take a seat for me. Give your arms a shake, just give your hands a shake. <laughs> all right 
So I'm just going to give your arms just a bit of a breather. We are going to do some sit to stand just to keep the legs engaged. And again, I'm just going to give you some different options depending on how you're feeling today. You might be, you might have been out for a walk already today, so your legs might be a, bit, a wee bit tired, or you, you know, you've been scrubbing the kitchen floor on your hands and knees, so you might not be looking forward to, <laughs> to the next few minutes. As always, just do with what you feel comfortable. All right. So let's start off nice and easy. Let's sit on the edge of your chair, both feet flat on the floor, and again, you've got that separation between your knees and your feet. Bring your feet back towards your chair. Everyone with me so far? Fabulous. Okay, so you can either, as always, you can put your hands on your chair if you need that extra boost with your arms. Put your hands on your knees so you've got something to press against. Or if you're feeling absolutely amazing this afternoon, you can put your hands across your chest. So everything now is with the legs. You're not reliant on your arms. I'm going to leave it up to you. We're going to start off. We'll lift the bomber just a couple of inches off the chair. Let me just turn around. Remember, we've got that initial lean forward to generate some momentum, but our back, even though we're here, our back stays straight. We're not rounding here. We're not doing this. Our back stays straight. All right? Remember, just a couple of inches. Here we go. Lean press lift and lower. And again, lean press lift and lower. Press through your heels when you're coming up. It makes it a little bit easier. So lean and lift and lower and keep that separation on your knees lean and lift and lower one more for me lean and lift and lower all right so just relax there just for a moment you can give your legs a little bit of a shake so this time all the way up all the way down and again i'm leaving it up to you if you just want to carry on doing those couple of inches and lowering back down that is absolutely fine you can't quite manage to get all the way up or if you're not going to do as many as I'm asking you to do. If you want to do every other one, that is also fine. All right, come around here so you can see. You ready? So we're sitting up nice and tall. We're going to lean, press, drive those hips up nice and tall. Bum back, bend those knees nice and controlled, sitting down. And again, lean and lift, drive up. Bum back, nice and controlled, back down. And again, lean and lift, drive up. Knees bent, nice and controlled. One more for me, all the way up, drive up, and then bum back, nice and controlled, sit down. Everyone all right? So far, so good. I'm going to take it to the next level, and again, it's entirely up to you whether you want to join in or not, or you want to do one of those previous variations. We're going to go all the way up, we're only going to come part way down, then we're going to go back up, part way down. All right, so we're not going to allow our bum to touch the chair my favorite all right so these are our modified squats hands where you want to put your hands sitting up nice and tall feet remember press through those heels and drive those hips forward here we go so we're going to lean and drive up how low can you go bend your knees your bum goes back how low can you go keep that back straight and then drive those hips forward Knees bent, bum back, nice and controlled. Drive up. Knees bent, bum back, as low as you can. Drive up. And again, knees bent. Keep those knees apart as your bum lowers. Drive up. Rest if you need to have a rest. Knees bent, bum back. We're going to do two more. Here we go. All the way up. Lower as far as you can. Last one. Here we go. Drive up. And then nice and controlled all the way back down. Sit down and have a rest. Whew. Everyone all right? Yeah? Give your legs a little bit of a shake if you need to give your legs a little bit of a shake. All right. So, good. Legs finished with going to carry on using our weights now we're going to crack on with the rest of our upper body exercises again we'll see how we get on for time we'll see how we get on for time mm. <laughs> right okay back onto the shoulders if you if i've taken out of you doing those sit to stands i've taken it out of you and you want to do the rest of the session sat down absolutely fine 
I won't, I won't be offended at all. Did quite a lot of squats there. All right, so just bear that in mind. So the next one we're gonna do is side arm raises. So you'll need to make sure you've got some space either side of you. If you're gonna do this with your resistance band, you probably need to sit quite far forward on your chair. Hold the end of your band, you've created your loop. Drop the loop to the ground and then put both feet onto your band. This is the one where your arms are down by your side. You've got some slack on your band, that's absolutely fine. Sit up nice and tall and keep those shoulders back. So the side arm raises, both arms at the same time. And again, no higher than your own shoulders and back down. We're trying to bring the, the arm out so that it's level with your side body. We're not allowing those arms to come forward. And then nice and control back down. Keep that back nice and tall. Can do this seated with your weights. It's exactly the same. So those weights hang down by the side. Got a nice straight back. You're just coming, pulling back on those shoulders, lifting up those weights. Again, no higher than your own shoulders. And then nice control back down. If you're going to do this stood up, not going to come as any great surprise to you, but nice solid base, tiny, tiny little bend in the knees. We're not locking our knees out. And then bringing those arms up low with your own shoulders and nice and control back down. So just nice and smooth, whichever version you're doing, nice and, nice and smooth. Just take your time. And again, just rest if you need to rest, if you need to have a sit down. It's not going to help your shoulders, but it might just help your legs. Think about your postures, whichever version you're doing, whether you're using the bands or the weights. Keeping that back straight, trying to pull back on those shoulders slightly, not allowing our shoulders to come forwards and do this. That's really bad. Trying to keep our shoulders back nice and smooth. Okay, just one more for me. And relax there. Just give your shoulders a bit of a shake. So I'm going to... Hmm, all right, so I'm going to just change the order that I've got my, my board in front of me that you can't see. We're going to go into front raises now. So let me go back to the resistance band. So front raises. Again, you, you, your position's almost identical. You've just done side raises this way. Front raises, you're going to put your hands on the ends of your knees. Again, you're just going to try and sit up nice and tall. And you're lifting both arms up. No higher than your own shoulders. Then nice and control back down. So it's this movement. Remember, you're going to need to use those core muscles, those, those tummy muscles, just to help your posture. If you're using your weights, if you want your weights in a horizontal, move, uh, horizontal position, nice straight backs. You're trying to make those weights go at the same speed as you lift them. You might have a strong arm, so you might end up kind of doing, going at different speeds, trying to avoid that. I know it's really hard. Nice and smooth. And if you're doing this stood up, your arms have got a further distance to travel. So those shoulders are having to work really quite hard. So nice and strong in your lower back. Nice and strong through the rib cage. Nice and strong in your tummy. One more for me. I know that's tough. So just relax there and just give your shoulders a bit of a shake. Okay, so we're going to put those two exercises together, the side raise and the front raise. If you're using your band, you're already in your start position. Shoulders back, nice straight. Sorry, shoulders back, nice straight back. We're going to do one arm at a time. So what you're going to do, one arm is going to come out to the side and back down and then out to the front and back down and then the other arm is going to come out to the side and back down and then out to the front and back down and then you're going to switch arms okay so just to clarify if you're going to use weights arms down by your side out to the side back down out to the front back down then the other side out to the side out to the front. Got it? And if you stood up, out to the side and back down to the front. 
back down, then the other side. And I know those shoulders are probably talking to you about now. So just nice and steady. As I say, you don't need to go as quickly as I am. Just concentrate on your technique. Think about those postures. And rest if you need to have a rest. So you might be coming to the end of a particular movement. Once you've done that arm, rest. Just give your shoulders a bit of a shake. Everyone all right? Guess what's coming? Both arms at the same time, same sequence. So if you're sat down, arms are gonna come out to the side, to the front, to the side, to the front. If you stood up, to the side, to the front. Oh, that's testing you, isn't it? To the side, to the front. I want you to do one more of each. One more of each. And relax there and give those shoulders a bit of a shake. Just have a little think. How are you feeling? Do you need to have a sit down? you need to change your equipment it's entirely up to you all right quite tough on the shoulders okay chest next so if you can use your resistance band this is the one where we go uh, across our back and underneath our armpits it's the one where we're pushing forward so you know this one I've done it with me many times before I'm gonna let you adjust your hands however you see fit you can do this stood up with your band. If you're gonna do it stood up, we're gonna do this split stance where we've got one foot just in front of the other and we can just put a little bit of a bend in that front leg. And again, we've got some separation. We're not stood on a tight rope. We can really lean into it. If you're gonna do it with weights, it is slightly different. Hmm. From here, we're gonna come out to the side and back in. So we've got this 90 degree angle with our uh, elbow and we're bringing in and out. So it's not technically a chest press like, you, like I've just demonstrated with the resistance band. You are working the chest in a slightly different way. There's a bit going on with the shoulders as well, which no doubt you're feeling. So don't worry too much if you think, mm, no, I'm not too sure about this one. And you wanna go back onto the resistance band, that is absolutely fine. They're different exercises and testing those muscles just in a different way. This doesn't work, this movement, this pushing away, doesn't work stood up, unfortunately. If you are stood up and using your resistance band, you can change legs if you want to, just to give your legs just something else to think about. And if you are doing it with weights, this version here and remember just trying to keep those upper arms horizontal and creating that 90 degree angle with the elbow one more for me and relax there give your arms a shake right so something I've just just popped into my head which we're going to try and I've left it really short notice if you've got a wall blank wall without any pictures or anything like that go to it we're going to do some press ups if you haven't got a wall and you just want to chill out and relax just for a few minutes then please chill out and relax we're going to do some press ups if your spare wall is not in view with the camera you want to watch what i'm going to do now and then dash off to your spare bit of wall that's absolutely fine let me talk you through it and if you think you want to have a go then that's absolutely fine so You've got your wall, so you don't want to be stood too close to your wall. Similarly, you don't want to be too far away because you're never going to reach it. So you've got to try and find this Goldilocks zone. Your hands are going to be the same height as your shoulders, and you want your hands about shoulder width apart. So if I had my hands against the wall, this is where I would be. I'm going to keep my body in a nice straight line as I bend my elbows and push away. So I'm not sticking my bum out, I'm not doing this. And I'm certainly not collapsing my hips doing this. 
because we all know that's just rude. We bend our elbows and we push away. Bend the elbows, push away. So if you've got a bit of a wall and it's um, not near your camera right now, and you want to go away and just do five or six press ups, go away and do five or six press ups and then come back. If you're just watching and having a cup of tea at the minute, <laughs> we'll be back with you shortly. Once you've done your five or six, just relax. And come back to the camera, by the way. Come back to the camera. All right, let me just say, yeah, oh, I'm getting, I've got someone waving at me. Maggie's full of beans today. Must be all that housework she did earlier. Right, I've got everyone back with me. Fabulous. There's a couple of smiles on people's faces as well. That's unusual. <laughs> right, so last one. Last exercise. I'm going to do some shrugs. So it's this muscle right at the top of your shoulders here. And the bit, that, the, this muscular bit, that's at the back of your neck, the base of your skull. So different options. You're going to use your resistance band. Tricky. You can do it, you can keep your band long and put it underneath your feet, but you'll need to move your hands really quite far down your band to create tension. It's this one, the shrugs one, is the one where we lift our shoulders up and down. If you can, and I know it's tricky, fold your band in half, get both feet on your band, sit up nice and tall, and then you're lifting up those shoulders towards your earlobes. Remember, you're not pulling on your hands, it's your shoulders that are doing the work. So that's the resistance band version. The weight, if you sat down, again, you might need to sit quite far forward on your chair, nice straight backs. And again, you're lifting up using your shoulders. You're not lifting up using your hands, you're not pulling this way. And if you stood up, that nice solid base, nice straight backs, and lifting up those shoulders, Toward your earlobes. So as big a movement that you can make with your shoulders going up and down. And if you're doing this sat down, nice straight backs, shoulders nice and controlled coming up high, nice and controlled as you lower. I know it's a bit of an awkward one, this one, and I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but it is quite an important exercise. Really good for posture and to strengthen those muscles around the back of the neck. So if you do have any issues at that end, keep those muscles nice and strong. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Fabulous, okay, so relax there. If you're on your band, please just take your time as you extricate yourself from your resistance band. Everyone all right? Just give your hands a bit of a shake. Fabulous. And then fingers in and out. Lovely job. Right, take a seat for me. If you're not already sat down, take a seat. Ooh, I think we've got time. I think we've got 60 seconds, you'd be pleased to know. Maybe 90. 90 seconds. Abdoms. So we'll do some sit-ups. I know we did these the other day, but they're good. Right, so sitting on the edge of your chair, both feet flat on the floor. Hold onto the side of your chair. Sit up nice and tall. And then lean back. So you're just making contact with the back of your chair. Imagine I am sat on a chair. All right, so you're in this position. Keep your chest lifted. Now using your tummy muscles, sit up nice and tall. And then use your tummy muscles to recline. So it's a sitting up movement and recline. Okay, so if you do want to make this harder, you can put your hands just across your chest. So all the movement now, all the effort, is coming through those core muscles. If you do want to make it even harder, don't let your back make contact with the chair. So you're going back as far as you can before you actually touch the chair and then you're squeezing those muscles. Keep your chest lifted. Don't be rounding forwards. We're not doing this with our heads. We want the tummy to do all the work. 
All right, one more for me. I think we've exceeded our 90 seconds that I promised you. All right, relax there, relax there. <laughs> just throw them in there, just for laughs. Right, so we're going to do the cool down, sat down. We're going to do the stretches, sat down. Because you've done a lot, you've done a lot today, stood up. All right, so I think you deserve just a little bit of a rest. We are going to start with the legs. All right, so sitting on the edge of your chair, extend a leg out. Let me come around here so you can see. A nice straight leg. Point those toes up and try and point those toes back up towards your face. So we get that nice deep stretch through the Achilles and through your calf. And then point those toes forward. It's come really quick today, this session. Absolutely flown by. I'd be pleased to know there were three other exercises I didn't manage to squeeze in this time. Don't worry. Toes back up. Toes back up. And then just relax that foot. So we're going on to the hamstring stretch. This is where we put both hands onto your bent knee. So you, can, so you can support the weight of your upper body. We're going to sit up nice and tall. And then as you lean forward, under control, taking the weight onto that bent knee. Until you start to feel that stretch running through the back of your thigh. And just relax now. Take that breath out. If that helps you drop just slightly deeper into your stretch. And if you want that really intense stretch, point those toes back up towards the ceiling. I'm sure there's one or two of you going, ooh, feel that. And then relax, push against that bent knee, push yourself back up to your seated position. This straight leg, bend it, grab the knee, pull up that knee as high as you can, right up towards your chest, give it a good old hug. Stretching out your bum now. Fabulous. And relax there. Your other leg. So you extend your other leg out. Point those toes up nice and high. And point your toes away, stretching through the um, top of your foot and the ankle, front of your ankle. And then pulling back. And again, you're trying to point those toes back up towards your face. And relax your foot. So both hands onto your bent leg, sitting up nice and tall. And again, take the weight of your upper body on this knee as you lean forward until you feel that stretch running through the back of the thigh. I'm feeling a little bit in my back today, which is a good thing. It's just a really nice stretch. And again, if you want it to be even more intense, you can point those toes back up towards the ceiling. Really feeling that through the back of that thigh. And then gently pushing back up. This straight leg now, we can bend, grab the knee, pull up that knee as high as you can until you start to feel a stretch into your bum. Marvellous. And relax there. Just Ease that foot down to the ground. All right, let's do some shoulders. So an arm across the front of your body. Grab the elbow and pull in on that elbow so you feel that stretch through the back of your shoulder. This arm that you're stretching right now, this shoulder that you're stretching, is going to reach around the back of your head. If you can, get those fingers around the back of your neck or even between your shoulder blades. You can tease up, you can push up that elbow towards the ceiling. If you do have the flexibility, you can reach over the top for your elbow and give that elbow a pull. And then relax out of there. So your other arm now, cross the front of your body, hold onto your elbow, and again, just gently pulling in on that elbow. And now this same arm around the back of your head or your neck or between your shoulder blades if you can. You can help it along its way by pushing up that elbow towards the ceiling. Or if you want to, you can reach right over the top, grab your elbow and give that elbow a bit of a pull. Depends on, depends on how your shoulders are feeling and how your flexibility is. 
and then ease in out of that and relax there. Just give those shoulders a shake. Let's do our back stretch. So one hand in front of the other, and we're going to push those hands out as far as we can until we start to feel that stretch across the upper back. And we relax. And again, push away. So you can go a little bit further. And relax. One more time for me, please. Push away. Ooh, that feels good. And relax. So, chest. So hands either onto the small of your back or you can hold onto your chair. Shoulders roll back. Chest will follow. So really try and pull back on those shoulders so you get the stretch through the collarbones and through the chest. And relax. And again, roll the shoulders back, allow the chest to follow. And relax. Last one, shoulders back, chest out. And relax there, just give those shoulders a bit of a shake. So a little bit of a twist for our spine. So we're gonna take a hand onto our opposite knee, other hand onto the side of your chair, lengthen that spine. And remember, you're trying to rotate from your lower back, pull against this hand, and turn. So keep the back nice and tall as you, as you twist. And then come back through to the centre, and we're going to do the other side. So your other hand onto your opposite knee, pull around, get that really lovely twist through your torso. And then very gently coming back through to the centre. I'm going to do the lower back stretch as well. As always, just take it nice and steady. It's important that you hold your, the weight of your upper body on your hands, on your knees, rather than allowing all that weight to go through your lower back in the early stages. So support yourself here. And as always, if you don't want to do this stretch, you don't have to. So hands on your knees. We're sitting up nice and tall. We're going to take the weight of our upper body on our hands and controlled movement as we lower ourselves down until you start to feel that stretch running through your lower back. And then you can relax. And if you do want to drop your hands down towards your feet or your ankles to increase that stretch, then please do. And then hands back on your knees and using your hands, pushing yourself back up to that seated position. Fabulous. Okay, and just give you a moment for your blood pressure to equalize. Give your shoulders a shake. And then roll those shoulders backwards. So as big a movement as you can. They've had a bit of a workout today, those shoulders. And relax there. And as always, we're just going to finish off with our neck stretches. So just sitting up nice and tall. Remember, it's just the head that's moving, not moving our shoulders or our waist or anything like that. Just the, just the head. All right, here we go. So turn the head and eyes round. Look over your shoulder. I'm pushing that chin round as far as it will go. And then come back to the centre, all the way around, looking over your other shoulder. And back to the centre. Dropping your head across to one side now so you get the stretch through the side of your neck. Just let gravity take your head. And then gently picking up and going across to the other side. And coming back up. Lowering your chin now towards your chest. Just your head's coming forward, you're not leaning with your body, you just want to get the stretch through the back of the neck. And now listen up, looking up towards the ceiling. And coming back down, and finally, nice and easy now as you roll that head around, making a circle with your chin. And then very gently coming back round in the other direction. And relax there. How are we feeling? All right. Give your hands a shake. 
and give your legs a bit of a pat down. And give yourself a round of applause. Everyone all right?